Hi, this is Bart with buildlog.net. Wanted to show off my latest backpack scale CNC machine. This is a wooden nickel laser engraver. Uh, you can buy these uh, little wooden nickels off, uh, these blanks off Amazon. And this uh, will use a laser module to engrave on them. This is the type of thing that it can do. A lot of the machine size uh, is based on the fact that I wanted this auto feeder. You can put nickels in this hopper and it can uh, cycle through them and then eject them out the door. Here's how the nickel handling works. The nickels are in this hopper and there's a platform that stays under the nickels to keep them from falling through. No matter where this slides, it will always support these nickels here. Uh, what we do is we move this hole under the nickels and they fall into this pocket and they are supported by this ledge and this ledge. And then the pocket moves under the laser to be to engrave the nickels. This yellow piece here is a three position clamp. The first position is a loose fit and that's where a nickel can just drop in. The second position, but the, the problem is the nickel can wiggle around while engraving. So this position has just locked the nickel, so now it can't move. The third position retracts all the way, including the ledge, and the nickel will drop through. When the door is shut, it drops into the uh, eject chute and uh, rolls out the front. So I'm going to run the sequence. What's going to happen is the pocket's going to zero itself under the laser. Then it's going to move under the nickels. Uh, a nickel's going to fall into the pocket. The clamp is going to close and then it's going to return to the position to be engraved. So now the nickel can be engraved. Once the nickel is engraved, it can go to the eject position and drop it. The advantage of this system is it only needs one hobby servo to move that clamp into three positions. It makes the firmware very easy uh, adding um, uh, things like a solenoid and a little moving arm, other things like that. I just need three positions for the clamp. And right now I'm controlling them in Gerbil uh, just piggybacking off the uh, coolant control features like uh, mist and flood and turning off coolant it just intercepts those and uh, that causes the servo to move to the correct position here's a basic full sequence engraving with the uh, nickel engraver the first thing we do is grab a file that we want to engrave I'm going to engrave this image of Tesla. You can play with some settings in here. Um, the important ones are the number of lines per millimeter and um, whether you want to vectorize it or uh, do a uh, raster. We click Next. Here we set the engraving speed and the power and the size. I've set uh, each of the offsets to half of the, the height and the width so that um, the, it's centered because on this machine, zero, 00 is the center of the nickel. So it's going to look like this. You can see there's the center and it's pretty equally spaced. Now we need to get a nickel. and then we click engrave
This engraving should take about a minute. They all take about a minute. When it's done, you just click the return nickel button and it tosses it out. And that's what it looks like. Here's the basic uh, interior of the system showing you how the mechanics uh, and electronics are set up. It's a basic HBOT with the motors at the end. These are uh, NEMA 14, so pretty small motors. I'm using six millimeter rods uh, for the uh, bearings. Uses a single six millimeter GT2 belt. Here is the x-axis limit switch. The y-axis limit switch is underneath the carriage in the back. There's two fans for exhausting the smoke. Uh, this, the intake for the smoke is underneath the laser power supply, uh, so I get good uh, airflow over the laser power supply. Electronics consist of the laser module here. Here's the laser module power supply. This is a three and a half watt blue laser. Uh, they sell for anywhere between $69 and $100, depending where you get it. So it's a pretty good deal for that. The rest of the electronics are on the bottom. The wiring's a little crazy right now because I haven't uh, trimmed the wire lengths um, in case I have any last minute changes I wanna make. Uh, so this is a custom board I made. Uh, it uses uh, two stepper motor drivers, uses a PSOC 5 I'm plugging in and it has a small five volt, one amp power supply to run the servo. I used the PSOC 5 because it was so much easier to add the spare servo. And I get really high resolution out of that servo. Here's where the servo plugs in. This is the wiring from the X limit switch. These are the motors, uh, another limit switch, and two fans. So that's basically it. I uh, probably still have a little more cleanup to do, uh, especially on the wiring and maybe a few other areas. Uh, but that's it.